Okay, um, this is for uh, the National Science Foundation. Uh, this is Adam Schreck. Um, kind of going over quickly the data flow for our event um, taking place July 14th, the webcast, the Shake simulation from Japan. Um, so I've been told that you guys will be shooting in um, DVC Pro uh, HD, basically 1280 by 720, uh, progressive, and that's what I have here on my timeline in Final Cut Pro. Um, and uh, hopefully you're working in Final Cut Pro. If so, this will make it really easy for you. If not, then you have to figure it out for your NLE. Uh, let's see here. Um, so throw that on the timeline, and I've heard that you're going to try to give us H.264 compressed files. That's great. Uh, in FCP, um, if you just use export using QuickTime conversion, use the default settings for H.264. That'll be fine. Um, let's see here. Uh, ideally, you want to do best quality, and high is okay for our quality. You don't need to make it best. Um, for my purposes today, I'm going to use a faster encode. And then the size, if you just leave it a compressor native, it'll actually come out at 1280 by 720. Um, sound, we don't need any more than 48, uh, 48 kilohertz. So let's see here. Um, the, 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 the clip that I have in the timeline actually has a fair amount of movement. Whoop. Sit tight there. Uh, uh, some dolly shots, some pans, and also a voiceover track. I've seen the footage that you guys, uh, the typical footage there, that's going to come from Japan. I can't imagine it would have more visual information than this. Uh, when I go to compress this to H.264 using full frame rates and everything, it'll probably come out as about a 500 megabyte file. I expect the same from you guys, um, more or less, uh, give or take 100 megs. Uh, with our FTP, I tested it. Um, that should take five to ten minutes to upload each 500 megabyte clip. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and send it now. Um, and uh, let's see here. I'll let it give an estimate. Uh, it should it should vary between 15 and 20 uh, minutes. And just so you guys know, I'm working on an older Mac. This is the last of the Power PCs. Uh, it's a dual 2.7 gigahertz power PC G5. It does have 7 gigs RAM, but it is, it's is—it's an old computer, and it's going to take mine about 15 to 20 minutes uh, to compress uh, at these settings. So we'll go ahead and send that. And I'll let the estimate come up. Okay, that looks more like it. So after it actually figures out how long it's really going to take, uh, it should come down around 20 minutes for this particular example. Um, yeah, so I think you can count on 15 to 20 minutes encoding time, then probably about another 5 to 10 upload to our FTP site per clip. Uh, I'll come back when this is done compressing. Okay, it uh, just finished compressing. And actually I was wrong about the file size. It'll only be, it should be 100 megs or less. Um, I was... I was thinking ahead of myself. But anyway, uh, so I just output it right to my desktop. Uh, you can see right here. Here it is in QuickTime. Um, I mean, we lose some some information with the 264 compression. No, uh, I, mean, I guess we're getting kind of into it now. Um, <laughs> well, I, I can answer that. But because this is a webcast and some of the other limitations, uh, I mean, I think this is probably going to be the best way for us to try to do this. Anyway, so here's a clip in QuickTime. And um, you can see right here, uh, 100 megabytes, uh, 1280 by 720. You guys send that to us, and we will actually do another transcode from our end. We're going to go ahead and take this and put it into the format we need for our switcher.